Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurveda medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha yoga teacher. So today in this video we are going to discuss about what is the importance of our daily routine in terms of health of our internal organs. As you know in Ayurveda a lot of importance has been given to lifestyle in tune with the cycles of nature, importance of sun, even in yoga also sun is considered as the source of whole life on this planet and in yoga they have said to that extent like without sun we can't exist in ancient times when there were no watches so uh, people start their day with sun sun was the only clock and their routine, their working, their eating, their sleeping, everything was dependent on sun. Uh, how sun behaves, that's according to the sun, our daily life, our routine life had been scheduled. As you know, in our body also, each organ works not from our instructions, but naturally. Nature has set some clock in our body. Like this time we feel hunger, there is a certain time of the day when we feel more energetic, there is certain time of the day when we feel sleepy, there is certain time of the day when we feel very tired, uh, there is certain time of the day that we feel very happy, very fresh. If we pay attention to these subtler aspects of our body, we will see what is the importance of sun, what is the importance of eating on time and why we should eat on time. So let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it. As you know, in Ayurveda, a lot of importance has been given to wake up early. At least we should get up by 6 o'clock. Have you ever paid attention what happens when whole nature get up with the sunrise all the birds start all the birds started flying all the trees started giving oxygen more and more oxygen have you ever noticed in the morning there is more fresh air not because pollution is subsided uh, during night but even if you are near nature or if you ever go to some hill station you will observe in the morning oxygen is more fresh not because pollution is less but just because trees gives much fresh oxygen much more oxygen in the morning as you know trees are considered as half part of us are trees half lungs of us are trees because what they are giving to us that is oxygen we are inhaling and what we are giving to them that is co2 carbon dioxide they are uh, using it for their photosynthesis and making food and for their nourishment so we have a very deep connection with these trees that's why if we pay attention if we pay attention to these laws of nature we will be able to understand our connection in much more deeper way. So if uh, these trees are giving more oxygen in the morning then what we should do with this oxygen that's why this is the time when yoga comes. You should do yoga, pranayam, deep breathing, all the healthy exercises, walking, walking in nature, deep inhalation. If you have no idea about yoga, at least you start doing deep inhalation and full exhalation because this is the time when our lungs are very much fresh and very much active. If you want to improve the health of your lungs, then you should do uh, yoga, pranayam, breathing practices, any kind of uh, yoga in the morning hours so that more and more oxygen can be inhaled and more oxygen means our brain will become more and more fresh and more and more energy will be gathered and we will be ready to do our day-to-day -day work and to face day-to-day -day challenges. After that, if you pay attention with the rise of the sun, our digestive fire also rises. That is known as Jatha Ragni. In Ayurveda, 
there is a lot of importance of jatharagni that is called digestive fire according to ayurveda there are 13 kinds of fire in our body and jatharagni is the main vital force if there is no jatharagni person is dead so this jatharagni or our digestive fire it's a basis of everything how our life works uh, if you get up early, you will see by 8, 9 o'clock when sun rises above 30 degree, uh, you will feel the hunger rises. And this is the time when our stomach, that is the uh, epigastrium or our stomach portion, it becomes very active. Because this is the time when our stomach secretes juices and we feel hunger. Because hunger doesn't come like if I want to be hungry okay hunger comes it never happens like that our juices our uh, stomach works according to the laws of nature uh, there is no control on our hunger hunger comes hunger goes we can't make uh, control of hunger so it's very important like when hunger comes uh, we give very nourished food to our body this is not the time when you eat junk food this is not the time when you start your morning with some packed food this is the time that you start your morning with fresh fruits and freshly cooked food so that it will enrich you with a lot of energy a lot of pranic value and a lot of positivity after that according to Ayurveda there is a Pitta time Pitta time when there is natural aggravation of Pitta in your system. That means uh, that is the time when all your digestion will happen. And all as we know, all the digestion happens with liver juices, pancreatic juices and the work of spleen. So all these, uh, all the enzymes that are produced with these internal organs becomes active and the process of digestion starts. That's why in Ayurveda it has been said like this is the time that you take big meal so that your big meal will get digested very well. Uh, because if you take dinner as uh, big meals like big meals if you are taking in dinner uh, especially after 8 o'clock then what happens these juices goes very low your digestive fire goes very low as sunset digestive fire also goes low. And then if you are taking big meals, especially meat diets, if you are taking, it becomes very difficult for the body to digest it. And then it give rises to various kind of chronic ailments like uh, diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol, obesity, uh, disturbed sleep, um, sinusitis and many other chronic ailments whose reasons are not known, which are known as lifestyle diseases. Now, uh, afternoons, if you are feeling hungry, you can have some juice or if you want to have lunch, you can have your lunch. But make sure, like take lunch and morning food in such a way that keep your dinners light. Try to finish your dinner by 7 o'clock, 7.30 so that it will get digested well. When there is sun in the sky, as you see all the morning creatures like these uh, birds and many animals who just eat during day. At night if you give them food, they will not eat unless they are hungry. If they are hungry, definitely they will eat. But if they are not hungry, they will prefer not to eat after sunset. So this is not like okay cow or these four legged animals are more wiser than us. It is not like that but it is just like their clock, their body clock is set according to the laws of nature. Uh, this is what we need to pay attention and learn from nature so that our health will also remain good. At night your lung activity becomes very lower that's why in yoga also yoga practices are not recommended very late at night because at this time your lung activity is very low lungs are not absorbing uh, lungs are not very active and they are not absorbing a lot of oxygen because this is the time when co2 level in your blood increases and this is the time when body needs rest and night is for sleeping and that's why 
uh, nature has set our body, our lungs in such a way that this is the time that you should go to sleep. That is why the activity of the lungs becomes less and we feel more and more sleepy. At the same time as there is a change in temperature uh, of we change in temperature of the atmosphere that is why the all our internal organs are covered with sheets if you if you pay attention if you ever uh, go in some dissection hall and if you see human body they are covered with sheets uh, this is uh, all the vital organs they are covered with white colored sheets and these sheets are providing uh, cushion to the internal organs so that the outer change of temperature will not disturb the activity of your vital organs. No matter it is cold or winter or whatever outside your internal organs if they are healthy they are working well. They are not impacted by temperature because of the sheets which, pro which provides protection in Ayurveda it is known as avanan. Uh, that it means uh, sheets that covers which protects your internal organs. Now the question comes what happens if we change our lifestyle and we do whatever we want, what will happen then what happens there is more possibility that we will invite uh, chronic ailments and uh, lifestyle diseases and the only way to come out of these lifestyle diseases is change your lifestyle and you will see sooner or later you will come out of your lifestyle diseases also. So this video was only about awareness so that you understand the importance of lifestyle and try to adjust your body according to the laws of nature, according to the clock of nature so that we will stay healthy, happy and blessed. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and if you're watching me for the first time there is a bell icon, there is a subscription button. Please click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also if you would like to support us there is a join button near subscription button and this way you can support us. Also those of you who want Ayurveda consultations please write to me on this given email id and I will let you know how we can schedule it. Also if you have any questions please write down your questions in the comment section I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. So with this note I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care, bye.